Good morning and welcome to Saturday the 28th, 28th of March. Um, I finished my hat last night and this is what it looks like and I love it so much and if you have been following for a while you'll know that I had to, about here, I realised I was going to run out of yarn and I had to order some more. Dan's dancing behind the camera. Um, and they sent me some more and I striped it and honestly, I don't think I would have even needed to. The colour match was that good. You can't tell at all. It is amazing. This yarn is gorgeous. I've got some left over because I had to sort of use some of the second ball, but not all of it. So I'm thinking I might have enough for some little wristers or possibly another hat, but a different type of hat that's not so chunky and cabled and with the long brim. So I'm gonna have a little look on Ravelry later because I absolutely love this yarn. It is Cartreff yarn. Um, from farm to yarn in Wales, I know that because I was watching Zoe's daily vlogs last night. Zoe, who is Pins and Needles, she has a podcast here on YouTube and she is doing daily vlogs at the moment too. Um, and her and her friend Jenny of Owl About Yarn, um, this is their initiative, Cartreff yarn. Is that the right word, initiative? Business, I don't know. So I thought I would come on and show, oh, and the pom-pom, I can't remember where I got it. I got it at Fiber East, but I can't remember the person I bought it from. It looks like a firework. And when I saw it, I thought it'd be perfect with this orange because it's a really autumnal sort of firework nights type hat. And even though it's sunny outside, I think I might just keep it on. <laughs> uh, Phoebe and I are gonna do some baking now. We're gonna make some cookie dough. Uh, Dan's been to the shops this morning and guess what? He got toilet roll. Ba -ba -ba. So we've got nine toilet rolls, very exciting, and eggs as well. Um, all, I uploaded my video early last night. Um, it went up, before, I think, just, just after midnight here as I was on my way to bed. So I've already seen loads of your comments. So thank you so much. I'm sorry I'm not replying um, to everyone like I would like to. Um, but honestly, I know that it takes a lot of time and you know energy and thought to click the comment button and write something um, and just communicate like that. And I really, really do appreciate every single one. We are reading every single one. And um, yeah, thank you for taking the time to do that and to, to send well wishes and to be sharing information about yourselves and where you are and what you're doing. It really, really does make a huge difference. Um, right, I'm gonna stop rambling on. I might have to take this hat off and get a bit warm. Although it is very cosy. I'm going to go and bake cookies. Before I go and bake cookies, I just remembered I didn't say what the hat pattern was. It is the Hello Yellow hat by... Oh, the pattern's in my phone, so I can't look at the pattern. Oh, no, hang on. It's in my project notes. Please hold. It is. This is my little project notebook. The Hello Yellow hat by Heidi Verherla. There you go. And the Cartreff yarn, yarn is in the colour Flam, which is Welsh for flame, I think. Um, yeah, so it's the Hello Yellow hat. And I can't remember if it's free or not. I think it is. I think it's a free pattern. I didn't understand the instructions for the decreases very well, but I managed, I, I seem to get there, so it's fine. And the decreases are really, really sudden. There was only four rows in the decreases. So really it doesn't matter that much because um, even if you messed it up, it's covered mainly by the pom-pom. Right, cookies. Okay, this is my Kenwood food processor, which I've had since before Lilia was born. And it still works great, but recently the um, the bowl, uh, this the lid broke, this bit came off. And if you don't have this bit, it won't work because it's got a safety catch on it. And the bowl was also a bit cracked. So I could have bought a new one for £35, but I went onto the Kenwood website and found out the part numbers. And then I found... Um, the bits that I needed and for £15 I ordered replacement parts so it's really worth doing that rather than chucking stuff away is to try and find the replacement parts so now I can still use my food processor it's going to be like Trigger's broom by the time I've finished with it it'll be the same food processor but with a different motor and a different bowl and a different part <laughs> right we're going to blitz chocolate and hazelnut
haven't bought um, cling film in quite a long time, um, at least a year, because um, I just don't like the idea of all that plastic. And I've got this idea from Gaina, uh, um, Tales from Cuckoo Land. And she's, uh, in one of her vlogs, she was saying that she saves the packets from cereal and washes them and cuts them. And then that's what she uses instead. So that's what I do when we have cereal, I save it and use that as cling film. And with an elastic band over, over the top of it, if it's in a, you know, covering a bowl or a dish, it works absolutely perfectly. So that's what I'm gonna to use to roll up our cookie dough. I'm just gonna roll it in our makeshift cling film and then elastic band it at the end whilst it chills. And then when we're done, I will wash it and it'll be ready to use another day. We've had a delivery. We're gonna see what's inside. Josie at Beaches and Birds Song. I haven't looked in here yet, but she's included for the girls. Do you want to show? So Some beautiful bookmarks. It's a Dumbo, Mulan, Brave, Hercules, Jungle Book, and Tangle, aka Rapunzel. There, are we going to do those, aren't we? Should we do yeah. them straight away? while the cookies are cooking. So in here she's sent um, some yarn as a giveaway. Um, so I will look at this yarn and work out when I'm gonna do it. But I just wanted to show you the packaging because it's in a brown box. It's got 100% recycled plastic tape and it's in... This paper is made from 100% recycled paper printed with environmentally friendly water-based ink in a 130 feet five-year-old Lancashire mill powered by water and you can recycle it we like save that don't we planet, Phoebe people. save the planet but we want to know what was inside oh my goodness that is really pretty oh look. my goodness look what she's included I'm going to take that out and I'll just show the yellow. Oh, look at the yellow. That's that beautiful. Yellow okay, so this is Gold Crest. Gold Crest, look. And it's 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. You get 425 metres in 100 grams. And, look, and it is beautiful. Um, look, Mum. Hang on, Phoebe's going to show you the card that comes with it. Lay it on the table. So, as it's called Gold Crest, it's a little Gold Crest car. The smallest bird in the UK weighing the equivalent of a 20p piece, approximately 6 grams. They can be found in woodland and parks across the country. They are often referred to as the king of the birds because of their golden crown yellow on females and orange on males. They eat insects and invertebrates, picking them off the trees they dwell in. And on the back is Phoebes. Ah, well read, Phoebes. <laughs> Uh, yes, I'm just tidying up. I need to hoover. Yes, well, I'm just tidying up, but whilst I'm tidying up, um, there's one tiny little piece I'm looking for. I've been looking for it since yesterday. So I'm going through eat all of the Lego bit by bit to make sure that I have found it in the process of tidying up. Needle in a haystack. No piece of Lego in a pile of about 5,000 pieces. <laughs> 